solving quadratic equation using appropriate method okay so there are four methods in solving quadratic equation we have the zero factor property square root property completing the square and using quadratic formula so for tonight i'm going to teach you the two methods uh, first is the zero factor property zero factor property and uh, the second one is of course the quadratic formula so i'll give you an example first for zero factor property example we have um, x squared minus 81 is equal to 0 okay so in here of course we need to learn first how to factor polynomials okay so what kind of factoring we will use in here we're going to use the difference of two squares okay so difference of two squares why because the first term is a perfect square the second term is also a perfect squared and the sign is negative if you see a polynomial like this then and you need to factor it out always use the difference of two square okay so the factor of x squared is x and x the factor of 81 is 9 and 9 of course their sign is positive and negative why because negative positive 9x minus negative 9x is equal to 0 that's why we do not have the middle term okay so since we have already we already factored uh, x squared minus 81 then next is we're going to equate the two factor numbers with a zero so x plus 9 is equal to zero and x minus 9 is equal to zero therefore x is equal to transpose positive 9 over equal sign becomes negative 9 and transpose negative 9 over equal sign change the sign becomes positive 9 we can say therefore that okay our solution the solution for the equation is nine and negative nine. Okay, or we can we can write that like nine comma negative nine. Okay, so that is for zero factor property. Example number two. Example two, we have. For quadratic formula, uh, huh. applying quadratic formula or using quadratic formula, so we have x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0. So our a is a is one, b is five, and our c is six. Okay, then using the quadratic equation, our quadratic equation is x is equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 
to A. So substituting the given numbers, so our B is 5, so negative 5 plus minus square root of B is of course 5 squared minus 4, our A is 1 times 1, C is 6 times 6. Okay, if it is written uh, like this without sign, that means times or multiply, okay? Over to AS1. The same with this. That it, this means 2A means 2 times A. Okay, next. Copy negative 5 plus minus square root of Okay, 5 square means 5 times 5, which is 25 minus 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 6 is equal to 24 all over 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, next, negative 5 plus minus square root of 25 minus 24 is equal to 1 over 2 is equal to of course uh, we have now the final answer of mm -hmm. do we have the final answer okay so negative 5 plus square root of 1 all over 2 and negative 5 minus square root of 1 all over 2. So we separate plus and minus. So this is plus, this is minus. Remember guys that negative 5 plus square root of 1 is equal to 1 over 2. Then negative 5 plus 1 that is considered as unlike sign. Unlike sign. So we're going to copy the sign of the bigger value, which is negative, and then subtract the numbers. So 5 minus 1 is equal to 4 all over 2. And negative 4 divided by 2 is equal to negative 2. Okay. And for the second one, we have here negative 5 minus square root of 1 is 1 over 2. Since they have the same sign, copy the sign and then add the value. 5 plus 1 is 6 divided by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Negative divided by positive is negative. So our x is 3. Okay. Therefore, oh sorry. <laughs> Therefore, the solution said the solution set of uh, x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to 0 is negative 2 and negative 3. So, negative 2, negative 3. Okay, easy, right? Okay, so that's how um, we are going to solve quadratic equation or solution set of a number using quadratic equation and zero factored form. Okay, guys, I hope you learned something from this video. And if you do, please subscribe for more uh, coming videos. Thank you and keep safe.